I'm Wesley Rabinsky. I'm superintendent of Upshot Schools. I have been for about six months now, uh, but I've been a part of this community and these schools since, uh, well, since I was pre-AP statistics teacher at Superintendent Rabinsky. Hey, Wes, it's Robert. Oh, Sheriff, hello. Hey, uh, you know, the elementary bake sale's coming up. We're all looking forward to your wife's uh, banana bread here. Yeah, that's great, Wes. I'm calling to inform you. Am, uh, am I on speaker right now? Yes, yes you are, because I'm explaining the, uh, the inner workings of our fine school district, and I, I think actually you could help. I'd rather not. Oh, come on, Bob, you can't be camera shy. You're, you're not even on camera. <sighs> All right. Principal Sims is being indicted. All the details aren't clear at the moment, but... Excuse me? The last item on our agenda is to quickly address the situation of our former high school principal, Wade Sims. Who is no longer employed by us. Yes, that's why I said former. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I thought you said uh, farmer. What's he a farmer? Test tampering, bribing students, betting on school football games, and, uh, and he was growing marijuana in our ad class greenhouse. I guess he was a farmer. <laughs> anyway, our selection team is meeting and we're going to review the nominees and we hope to choose a new principal soon. Well. That's it. Thanks for coming, everyone. Oh, and be sure and see me after because I have coupons for half-off frozen yogurt for everyone here today. Go Otters! Are we done here? I don't know, but I'm gone. Looks like it's just you and me on time again, Ethel. Early bird getting the worm or what? <laughs> hey. Well, this should go quickly. I think we all know who we should pick, right? Yep. I think I know exactly what you mean. I mean, the obvious choice is Mr. Gar Hungerbomb. Oh, uh, I guess we should review. So, tell us about yourself. My name is Miss Everbaum. I believe you all know me. Vice Principal Carter? Uh, Mr. Wayne. Oh. Yes, John Wayne. I'm in charge of discipline. I teach music. I've been principal at 18 different schools in the last six years. Do you have any special skills? I'm very good at putting the students in rows. I'm good on horseback. Oh, I see a kid smoking a cigarette and just pop it right out of his mouth. How would you describe your administrative style? Yes. I like to run a tight ship, as you may or may not know. Well, Assistant Principal Carter has a lot of potential. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, he's a familiar face, and he's very dedicated. Plus, he's got broad shoulders. That's a good sign. He's got my vote. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Susan, thoughts? Well, have you seen Mr. Wayne's hair? Hair. What? It's it's very, very presidential. Um, um well, uh, I, I know that my, my role is just to offer my opinion, but Mr. Carter has a great track record. He's been in charge of discipline, of course, until now, and we have our accreditation review coming up, as you know, and I just think that, that a smooth transition would really help us. What do you say? I think that might be the best thing for us to do right now, Susan. Okay, man. Hello? Mr. Carter, it's Wesley Rubinsky, superintendent. The board wanted me to let you know that uh, you got the job. <laughs> uh, one note, though. You, you will have to leave your, your bull whip at home from now on. I knew you knew that. 
Um, I, I, uh, I, I, I'm right next door to, uh, to the janitor's office. Couple of, couple of great guys, uh, a day guy and a night guy. You don't want to put yourself uh, apart in some sort of corner office. They actually have a better view uh, than I do. Single? I am. Do we have her number on her resume? Uh, in fact, lots of times uh, um, a janitor's might be called a super. So we joke about that. Fighting otters, fighting otters, grit your teeth and fight. Swim with all your might, tumble with delight. Fighting otters, fighting otters, take them to the light and fight, fight, fight! Thank you so much.